Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in today's video, I'll be talking all about the biggest problem with movie theaters. Coming up. During the pandemic, there was some considerable uncertainty about the future of movie theaters. And understandably so especially with the rise of at-home streaming services. However, 2023 has proven that nothing beats the in-theater movie experience, especially with all of the awesome movies that have come out this year. Take the Barbie movie, which has not only grossed over $1.4 billion worldwide, but is also the highest grossing film in Warner's 100 year history. Oppenheimer isn't far behind, grossing nearly $1 billion worldwide at the box office so far. Even Taylor Swift's Eras Tour concert film has already grossed over $230 million. And Killers of the Flower Moon has already surpassed over $100 million in just three weeks since its release. Put simply, a lot of people have been going to the movies lately. And while there are a lot of things about the movies that I just love, like popcorn, ices, and the big screen, there's one thing that I am definitely not a fan of when I go to the movies, and that is the insanely loud volume levels. A week ago, I went to see a movie in theaters for the first time in, honestly, years, and I was shocked at how loud it was, and I'm not the only one who noticed. In fact, in this video by TikTok creator Jareen in Mom, she addresses the concern about the increasing volume at movie theaters and even explains how it could be dangerous for your hearing. During my internet search on this topic, I was met with countless online forums discussing the volume level in theaters, especially those in IMAX. This led to the question that I plan to answer today. Can seeing movies in the theaters cause hearing loss? But before I answer that question, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up to bring videos like these to a wider audience. And if you have not yet already hit that subscribe button with notification bell, make sure you do that too so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, to answer this question, we need a basic understanding of just how loud is too loud. Various organizations have published safe noise exposure limits to avoid noise-induced hearing loss. One such organization is the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH. According to NIOSH, adults can safely listen to sounds at 85 decibels and below for an eight hour period. For every three decibel increase in the volume of sound above 85 decibels, your safe exposure window it's cut in half. For example, an 88 decibel sound is only safe to listen to for about four hours, and another three decibel increase up to 91 decibels cuts your safe exposure window in half again, down to only two hours. As you're probably starting to pick up, the louder the sound, the shorter the duration of time that you can listen to it safely. So just where do movie theaters fall in all of this? Well, the National Institute on Deafness reports that movie theater volume can range from 70 to 110 decibels. While the lower end of this range is safe to listen to all day long, according to NIOSH, the upper end of this range can become unsafe in less than a minute. Loud noise exposure, especially up at that higher end of the range, can either result in a temporary threshold shift or a permanent threshold shift. A temporary threshold shift is a change in your hearing due to overly stressed out hair cells inside of the cochlea, which is your hearing organ. While hair cell function may recover from temporary threshold shifts, over time, this can result in permanent threshold shifts, tinnitus, and even sound sensitivity disorders like hyperacusis. When your hearing thresholds have shifted permanently due to noise exposure, this type of hearing loss, called a noise-induced hearing loss, is identified through a hearing evaluation that reveals a characteristic noise notch on an audiogram. This hearing loss requires treatment using appropriately programmed hearing aids. Now, because hearing loss often develops gradually and painlessly, Many people are unaware of the damage loud noise exposure can cause, especially over time, but it is, unfortunately, extremely common. In fact, the CDC estimates that 17% of adults and nearly 12.5% of children have permanent noise-induced hearing loss. So how are movie theaters adding to this problem? Well, movie theaters crank up the sound to make movies more exciting and invigorating, providing a high-definition experience that cannot be achieved at home by most is a part of the allure of seeing a movie in the theaters. However, it's getting out of control. Although loud noise is regulated in many settings, like workplaces, 
Movie theaters do not have any type of sound regulations. From the looks of it online, volume complaints are on the rise, and some states have even started the process of regulating movie theater noise levels. And while it's a step in the right direction, the current volume level of many movies will continue to cause hearing damage, even after seeing just one movie in theaters. So, how can you protect your hearing and still enjoy the movie theater experience? First, you could skip the trailers at the beginning of the movie. Now, I know that this can be controversial, as many people love movie trailers, and it can be hard to find a seat if you show up much later. But the whole goal here is to reduce the amount of time that our ears are exposed to damaging levels of sound. Second, use a smartwatch like an Apple Watch or a sound level meter app like the NIOSH app to monitor the volume level inside of the theater. Both have the ability to alert you of dangerous noise levels and encourage you to do something about it. Which brings me to my third recommendation, which is bring hearing protection every time you go to the movies. Hearing protection is commonly available in over-the-ear muffs and disposable foam earplugs. However, many people worry that these types of hearing protection will perhaps dampen the sound too much detracting from the movie theater experience. Luckily, there are filtered hearing protection options such as Westone True or Phonak Serenity filtered plugs that can reduce dangerous noise levels without compromising the overall sound quality. Another way to protect your hearing at the movies is by attending sensory-friendly film showings such as those at AMC that have brighter lighting and a lower volume level. And finally, Make sure you are limiting additional loud noise exposure that you may receive through other hobbies, such as loud music, gunfire, or working with power tools by using hearing protection religiously, because damage due to noise exposure has a compounding effect. Now, if you go to the movies and you're having a hard time following the dialogue, it could mean that you already have hearing loss. Issues with speech clarity rather than volume are often the result of high frequency hearing loss, the kind that is common with aging and loud noise exposure. If the damage is already done, your hearing loss should be treated through the use of properly programmed hearing aids. Hearing aids aim to return missing high frequency sounds to improve speech clarity and distinction. So even if you think a movie is loud enough, the correct programming of a hearing aid can increase clarity without increasing volume. In some cases, movie theaters even have hearing loops or other assistive listening devices that can wirelessly connect to a hearing aid with a telecoil. This way, you can better control the clarity and volume levels by streaming the movie audio directly into your hearing aids. And for everyone else who doesn't have a hearing loss but wants to control their own volume in the movie theater, you're going to love when AuraCast Bluetooth becomes available. AuraCast will allow you to stream movie audio directly into a pair of wireless headphones or earbuds so that you have full control over your sound at the movies. Now, if you do wear hearing aids, you'll have to use your own discretion when wearing those hearing aids in an already noisy movie theater. But so long as you confirm that the volume level is safe, they can greatly improve your movie watching experience. In the event that the volume is above safe listening levels, you will want to remove your hearing aids and replace them with hearing protection in order to avoid any further hearing damage. Until movie theater sound regulations are finalized, the biggest problem with going and seeing movies in the theater will be the potential of permanently damaging your hearing and suffering from noise-induced hearing loss. By limiting your exposure and protecting your hearing, there's a high probability that you will be able to successfully reduce your risk of developing a permanent hearing loss.